Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek of I Am Penge and welcome to Automation Empire which is a simulation game where the focus is on expansion and perhaps more importantly efficiency and we all know how good we are in the Geek Cupboard at making things as efficient and as effective as possible, oh dearie me. So really it's a big factory type game, you're going to get natural resources out the ground, you can sell the natural resources or you can refine them if you so wish and then we've got to use various systems like rails and pipes and trucks and tracks and all that kind of stuff to move the goods around and then eventually sell them for a nice profit. It's due out onto Steam and I believe it's going straight into the full release. There's no early access. I think it's going straight to the full release on the 20th of November. There is a link to the Steam store page in the video description if you want to go and check it out and wishlist it and all that kind of stuff. And we got a key for this from the developers, which is very kind. So thank you very much, developers. That's very lovely of you. I think we'll just dive straight in and just see how efficient we can make something. And my guess is not very. So the first thing we've got to do is actually pick a planet. We get to choose an entire planet where we are going to set up shop and build our factory and gather the resources and all that kind of stuff. And there's quite a few different types. So this one here looks sort of like a barren kind of planet. That one there looks quite nice. It's obviously a bit greener. There's some rocks and some water and trees and stuff. This one here is very, very much a desert planet. That looks devoid of life of any kind. Then you've got this one here, which has got sort of snow and stuff on it. That looks kind of colder. So I think what we'll do is, I quite like the idea of rocky hills, big green cliffs surrounded by winding rivers and lakes provide the perfect backdrop for a factory base. It just looks nicer. It just looks like a more comfortable place to go. It's got nice green. It's got water. It's got pretty mountain views. So I think we will go to this planet here. And then as we can see, there is a goal. And the goals are the same, I believe, for every single one. I don't think we can change the goals. No, so that's fine. So the goal is to move 25,000 kilograms of stuff within a three-month period. So at the start, we won't be able to do this because we obviously won't have the infrastructure. But eventually, at some point, the goal is to be able to move that much weight within three months. So I don't think it matters when you do that. I don't, you know, there's not a sort of counter that says you must do it by this time. As long as within three months, we have moved 25,000 kilograms of stuff, we will complete this goal. And I imagine that considers this level sort of completed. So let's dive in and just have a look at how we play some automation empire. Oh yes, we have to name our colony first. So we're going to call it the World of Efficiency, which I think might be proven a somewhat ironic name. And we're going to take the starter mode off. I have had a little go at this just to sort of get used to how it works. So I think we're going to turn the starter mode off. That, if you leave it on, just gives you some very basic structures and things. But no, we can cope without that, maybe, possibly, I believe. Okay, right, now we're done. Let us enter the World of Efficiency. And here we are down on the planet's surface and it all looks very, very lovely. There's nice green grass there. There's lovely rivers over here. We've got ourselves rocks with grass and moss and stuff on them. There's trees, there's mountains off in the distance, lovely hazy mountains. So of course, we're gonna come in here and stamp all over this natural beauty by building great big industrial machines. Hooray, <laughs> hooray for progress. So what we need to do is, we need to exploit these things here that are in the ground. So these are natural deposits of something or other. I don't know what that is. That might be iron ore, possibly. So we need to get these things out of the ground. They need to be extracted. Then we package them up and then we sell them on. So let's do the selling on kind of preparations first, because to sell the stuff on, we need to build ourselves a little tunnel. And the tunnel is going to come through one of these mountains. There'll be a road where trucks can come along. The trucks park up and wait for us to load them up with goods. Then when they're full, they drive away, go out of another tunnel, and then we get some money. So it's important that we set that up first, because if we spend all our money on, you know, creating a great big elaborate kind of mechanism to extract this stuff, and then we can't sell it on, it's all been a big waste of time. So let's get this sorted. So the trucks are going to come in through, how about they come in through this mountain? They come in through here, so they drive in through here like so. So they go, yay, here I am, I've come through. Then we need to put a road, and then they need to exit. So they're going to have to exit through that mountain, say. So could we just build a relatively straight road going back to sort of there? Is that straight? Is that going to be straight between them? Let's have a look. It's, uh, oh, it's not quite straight. Okay, right, hang on. Now, the good thing about this game is that you can just, as a sell button, you can just go, right, sell that. Absolutely. That went a little bit wrong. We'll just move it. Oh, however, we're not going to be able to put it in the mountain just there, are we? Um, road, exit. Oh, yeah, that works. That works absolutely works just fine. There we go. That'll do. Yes, yeah, so they kind of dip down under the ground. So then, uh, yeah, connect that up and... Yay, right, okay, so we've got a road. So we can sell our stuff, which is very useful because that means we can make some money. Uh, we need a bay. 
So uh, they're going to come in this way and we're going to have a little bay where they can stop. Um, it's going to have to be on this side. So I, they're going to have to do some left hand sort of stopping, but that's absolutely fine. So that's where a truck is going to park up and wait. And now we need to do the stuff that we can do to get the resources out of the ground so we can sell something. So the first thing we need to do is uh, it's in uh, this one. There we go. So a mining rig. So this extracts raw resources from the ground. So let's start with let's start with this over here. We'll start with this over here. And if we make enough money, we'll then start exploiting whatever that is over there. So this thing here, obviously you can't build these anywhere except upon these deposits. So we'll just drop that on there. And we'll say, yes, I would like to extract whatever that resource is. What is that? Coal ore. Oh, so it's coal. Okay, good. So we've got some coal. As you can see, this isn't going to work because it's got no power. So now we need to go into the middle, I would say. Because if we're going to have stuff over there and stuff over here, we get to put a power station. And the power station can just sort of sit in the middle. You can rotate things round, but then the power station matters too much. So we'll pop that just there. And of course, this is all burning through our money. You don't start with a lot of money. <laughs> you start with 175 grand, was it? And it's quite expensive to get all this stuff set up. So they want to get some power poles. Um, they don't have much reach, the power poles, I've noticed. They don't go very far. So you need to string them along quite well. So uh, there you go. So if we put that over to, say there does that reach yeah okay so now that thing is powered up so that thing oh, time is paused obviously but when that thing uh, when we move time on that thing will start grabbing stuff out of the ground but of course at the moment it's not going anywhere it's not doing anything it's just getting stuff out of the ground and then it's just sort of sitting in this in a great big pile so we need to get it over there somewhere so what we can do is we can get ourselves a, a collector type thing. So there's a transfer tube and these little sort of holes at the bottom is where the goods can be fed through. And um, I do like how there's very obvious arrows on top of these things. I do like how the arrows are absolutely unmistakably pointy and you can't really go wrong with them. So that arrow is going to point that way. So we're going to say, yes, go this way and put the goods out here. And then what you can do is you can put the goods into a container. So you can link that up and say, there you go, the goods have gone into this container. So they will slowly fill up this container with stuff. And then what you can do from that, you can then get yourself, I can find where it was, just there, a crate maker. So the crate maker will package things up. But of course, our stuff is over here. Our where we're going to be sort of trying to sell the stuff is over here. So to move the stuff from here to here could be quite a lengthy process. It's quite a long way. So we might want to set up one of these just here and then have something connecting that to there. Some sort of railway system perhaps might be quite useful. So what we'll do is we'll have that just there. That is not powered. So we need to go through and grab some more of these things um, with their not very good reach. Let's put that one there, that one there, that one there, that one there, that one there. So that powers up, which is marvellous. And then we can get ourselves, uh, where are they? Where are the train tracks? There. So we can get these little mine tracks. So we want to connect this up here with this down here. We want to connect ourselves up a little sort of track. And then a little mine cart pootles around on the track and we'll move goods from here to here, which is very exciting. So right, we want to also get one of these. So there's a transfer tube, which can transfer resources from a step conveyor or a mine cart into a structure. We don't want that. We want to get the stuff out of a structure into the mine cart. So then we have one of these little things, which is fun. So a little sort of nozzle. And then that will also need, I believe, a nozzle going the other way, possibly. Because that's going to need to go into the stuff, isn't it? That's going to need to go uh, from a structure's ground port to... No, so it's going to be that one. So that's going to go, if we rotate it round, it's going to go into this thing. So this puts it into boxes, which is fine. And then we can get this little minecart sort of thing set up. Now, how exactly this is going to work, I'm not sure. So we can bring this round. This might end up being very expensive. So we'll bring this to here, like so. We'll build that. Then we'll wrap that round sort of... Oh, is it because it's on a... Hang on, hang on. Right, hang on. Is it on a bend? Is it not enjoying being on a bend? Okay, bring that to there. Yes. Then can we wrap that round to the... Ah, oh, that's really annoying. <laughs> that's really annoying. Okay, right. Sell, sell those bits. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Absolutely. Sell all those bits. But it's fine because you get the money back. We've not wasted anything. Um, right, go and get the... Get that. 
and then build, rotate it round, and then bring that to connect to there, yes, and then rotate that round, bring that up this way, and then rotate it to, let's build it there, and then rotate it round to, oh, can it not rotate? Ah, oh, <laughs> we're, too, we're too near the edge. We're too near the edge just there. Right, hang on, hang on. Let's let's just redo that a little bit there. This is all good. I know what I'm doing. Um, okay, so build that round like that. And then can we, uh, no, 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 not there. No, no, not that. Um, have that coming round like that. Oh, well, this, this is too near the edge. <laughs> um, okay, right. We might need to rejig this a little bit because that's too near the edge. Hang on. I know what we could do. Can we bring that round like that? There, there we go. And then get rid of that. This is all. This is all good. This is how the. This is how industry works, right? <laughs> Isn't it? Uh, right. Grab this, and then connect that up to. Oh no! <laughs> Hang on. Um, yeah, the rocks are sort of in the way. Right. Bring you down this way, like that, and then bring it round that way, like so. We'll delete all that stuff. So boom, 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 boom. Away with you guys. Right, there we go. <laughs> and then, finally, might we be able to connect that with that? Hooray! <laughs> the world's most inefficient cart system. And then you click on it and we can add a cart. And they are 5,000 monies. They're very expensive carts. So we'll add a mine cart onto here. And that will just run around between that thing and here. And it will gather resources, which is absolutely fine. So that's now able to get some stuff. So when we press play, we'll be able to gather some resources. They'll pick it up from this thing and they'll load it into this. This will take it into this packaging machine, which kind of packages up the goods, puts them in a little crate. We then need to make sure that we've got ourselves a little unloading station. So at the moment, the crates are just going to build up in that thing. So we want to get ourselves an unloading station. So we just put these in at the end. They're just like a little sort of conveyor. So that can hold four boxes worth of stuff. So when this thing has produced a box of stuff, it will put it onto this conveyor, it'll push it to the end. And now we need some method of actually getting the um, the stuff from here into the little cars. Now I'm a little bit concerned that maybe I've wasted all the money. No, we've got some money left, marvellous. So this thing here, this is a drone bay. So we're not going to use people. Oh no, that's, that's way too inefficient. We're going to use drones. <laughs> we can have floaty drones that are going around the place and moving stuff about. So this drone bay, it provides wireless computation power for four drones. And also, it houses a neural network supercomputer, which sounds very dramatic. So uh, we'll put this sort of thing just here because it needs to be powered. So we'll just put it next to the power station. And now we need to get ourselves some drones. Uh, now, we could have uh, four from one of those drone stations. So let's, um, let's go here. The only thing is they cost four grand each. And we've only got 12 grand left. So at the moment, let's build ourselves two drones because I don't want to run out of money entirely and become bankrupt straight away. And now we can go to here. We can watch stuff happening. So that thing is slowly but surely gathering resources. That thing is going into the ground and filling up this thing here. This container is being filled up with goods. The little cart comes along, picks up the goods from the big kind of vat. Then it's going to come along this way. <laughs> Wee! I like this. This is good. And then... It's going to stop here. This thing is going to hoover up those resources. Hoover, hoover, hoover. That's going to then package up whatever that was, the coal. Then it goes into a box. Look, a lovely box. And then, oh, hang on a minute. It needs a priority. Hi, drones. High priority. Come and pick this up, please. So now the drones know, because this is high priority, to go and pick these things up. Although they are not doing, ah, I need to put that on there as well. So a little truck has appeared. So they're saying, hey, there's a truck here. We want to load it up with some stuff. They then pick up the boxes that are being generated by this. They load this up, which is marvellous. And then when that's full, it will then drive away. When it goes into the tunnel and I guess sort of vanishes off the map, we get paid. So we can see how much money we're going to earn. Now, the only thing is, this is quite some distance away. So it's relatively slow. It's quite a slow going process, but we will see that very soon. So that's going to come in. A couple more boxes. The drones sort of, uh, I was going to say leap into action. They haven't got legs. They float drift into action i don't know so they come here load this thing up the little truck drives away i mean it's a little bit slow i mean if you could gun it a little bit my good my good my good driver person just put your foot down come on go that way a little bit quicker that would be grand um and then yeah the process just repeats for now so this stuff is just coming through there grabbing all these lovely things we should 
now see 2,740. There you go. So we got seven grand for that. We got seven grand. So what I think we might do is we'll wait for another shipment of this to go. And then I think we might go and get ourselves another mine cart. How's that looking? Yeah, that's that's got two out of 40 in that thing. So this thing is full of now three out of 40. So that thing is very slowly accruing, um, accruing stuff. What we could do is, could we somehow connect these two up into there? Because it's got two extra port thingamajiggers. Because um, that will be quite good. Or, yeah, can we sort of get a little process so we can have th those two things store something along here and then the trucks could come along and collect stuff from also those two exploit uh, those two uh, sort of uh, resource locations as well. So we exploit all three at the same time, which means we make more money in the long run. There goes a little lorry driving away. So, yeah, I wonder how we can do that. Um, how much are those tower things? They're 15 grand. So it's going to take a little while before we can even afford another one of those. Oh my goodness me. Okay. And I think if we look in here, um, you can see where we're, where we're getting money and we're also spending money. So we're spending money on power. Of course, well, because we're powering up these things. Um, and you can see in the month you pay for power four times, I believe. I think that's what that little symbol means. I think it means that's when you actually pay your bills. So um, are we going to get to the end of the month? So the previous month's revenue, 14170 We paid... 3,160 in power and taxes. So what's that? We made about 11 grand, is that? I mean, that's not so bad. 11 grand isn't so bad. However, we need 15 grand to build one of those things. <laughs> so it might take a little while for us to get this thing underway. And I don't think there's any speed controls. I don't think there's any speed controls. We can't just go, right, okay, move time on at you know, five speed or whatever, and it just flies through. As far as I'm aware, it goes this fast. That's what it does. So we might need to wait a little while until we can get this thing in, extracting resources, and then build the required stuff as well. Because, yeah, what could we do? I'm not entirely sure how we could connect this to this. Because that would be good if that could fill up. Or do we get another one of these VAT things, put it just here, and then have a little mini train system um, ferrying those two things around from there and there? So we gather resources from here and here. I'm now just thinking aloud. Gather resources from here. Gather resources from here. Have a little train that comes through, goes, OK, I will pick up the resources from that vat and that vat and then take it over here and put it into a master vat just there. That might be what we have to do. That might be what we have to do. I mean, there are other things. There's, there's other stuff as well. But I don't think we've got anything unlocked right now that's going to be of any immediate use to us. So, um, yeah, we need to wait anyway to get some money. We need some cash first. So I would think when we've got maybe 40 grand, maybe a bit more than that, maybe we've got a little bit more money, um, we'll come back and we'll just see what we can do with getting these two things exploited as well. Okay, so we haven't got 40 grand, but I've been thinking about how we could make this work. So what we need to do is we need to build an extractor. Let's pause it for a second. So let's grab an extractor, put that just there. That's powered, which is quite convenient. So that's quite handy. And then I think we can load this thing up. I think we can load up this same container just here. So we don't need a series of containers. These things can all feed into that one container because that container hardly ever gets full. Two out of 40. And yeah, I mean, that has just been emptied. But maybe by the time that even comes round, it gets to what, five or six or something? I don't know how much stuff is in the little cart. Can we tell? I don't think we can tell how much stuff the little cart's carrying, but whatever. I think we can fill that up. Rather than building a series of those, we can just fill that one up with the contents from these three. Well, there will be a third one just there. So these three sort of little mining rigs can fill that thing up. So I think what we need to do is let's go to uh, let's go to there. So we want to get a transfer tube that transfers resources from a structure's ground port. No, we want that one from a step conveyor or minecart into a structure's ground port. We want to swivel that round. We want to plug that in just there. And then I think we just want a little mine sort of cart track thing that just goes uh, from there. Hang on, we're going to need to extract those resources from there, though, aren't we? We're going to need an extractor on this side to take the resources out. Hang on. Um, so from a ground port to one of those. So put that there. And then get ourselves a mine cart and just say, go like that. Just do that, please. And then on here, add a cart. And now... We should, if we if we press play, that's got nothing to do. But that should come here. Is that going to grab some stuff? Hang on. Have I misunderstood how this works? 
possibly miss. Hang on, there you go. So now it's got one content in there. So that's going to go back. Oh, no, it's not doing it. It's not doing it. Hang on. <laughs> okay, that's not working as expected. Oh, no, there it is. It grabbed some stuff. So it grabbed the one thing that it had. Okay, that's quite encouraging. And then it's put it into there. Okay, so it did work. It just took a little while longer. I don't know quite why. Content's one out of 10. And then it's not done it. Maybe it needs two. Maybe it needs a minimum of two things to fill up. Yes, perhaps that's what it needs. So if there's only one thing waiting, it doesn't care. And that slowly fills that up. So that's got four out of 40 in it. So yeah, and then we could do the same again, just here. So we put ourselves another extractor thing and then connect that up with this little sort of minecart track. The minecart can come along, pick up from both of these, ship it over to this thing. This other minecart here picks everything up or as much as it can do. So what's it left? Four now. So there's four in there. So let's get another minecart on that line. So another minecart can appear on there. So now we can pick up twice the amount of stuff. Um, the drones are waiting now for another car to appear, another truck. Um, I wonder if we can do something about that as well. Are we able to buy another truck stop? 10 grand. We could get another one of these in, get another truck stop in and say, yes, that is, that's also high priority. Go and load that up as well. It's very important. I'd say, okay, another truck will come in. So yeah, because we're making quite a lot of stuff now. We're making quite a lot of stuff. So they'll load this one up. That truck will drive away momentarily. Oh, no, nope, they're having a little bit of a scrap. <laughs> <laughs> drone fight so there you go so you uh, there you go so now you know that you're going to load that one up oh hang on what's the priority of that one no no fill this one up first now there's another truck <laughs> oh no we've got we've got a traffic jam where are you going um hello okay bye, bye bye now why haven't you loaded this one up there we go so you load that one up that truck will drive away that truck will also drive away, loaded with stuff. That means we make more money. This is all going. This is all going sort of according to plan. How much is in there? Two out of 40. It's looking very good. But um, yeah, that's got two lots of things in it now, which is very, very good. I like that. So little minecart's got two things. Now, how can we make the most of that? Because that back minecart thing is is full. It's full and it's just going around and around. I don't think they ever empty that. So do we need another one of these things along this line here? So it picks up one and then it picks up the other. I suspect that might... Yeah, look, because it can't handle any more. I guess it can't handle any more input. Okay, that's interesting. Careful. <laughs> Don't crash. Um, okay, good. So that's all looking fine. It's all looking okay. I won't mind getting another drone in at some point. Um, but yeah, also we need to do another one of these setups. How much were those packaging thingamabobbers? Um, 15 grand, my goodness. Okay, um, we'll get another one of those in. We'll put that, um, swivel it round. We'll put that there. Just drop it there, like so, very expensive. Then we'll get ourselves one of those. That takes it from the from a step conveyor or minecart into the structure. That's what we want. Rotate it round, put that there. And then we need a bit of this. We need this unload station stuff. So the drones can go and pick it up. So we'll have four of those for 10 grand. Might want to get paid first before that happens. Uh, oh, the two trucks are here. Never mind. We'll have one for five grand, look. Um, a box just came in and just fell into nothingness. So we'll have that. So that truck's going to drive away, which is good. And now, yeah, there you go. Look, so it's emptied both of the minecarts into both of these things. Okay, this is very encouraging. We need another lorry, please. Can we have another lorry really, really soon? Because all these things are now piling up and we've got nowhere to put them. <laughs> come on, come on, come on, come on. Lorries, drive quicker. Bring more lorries in. There we go. Right, marvellous. So the drones will load that up. They're now just full. These things are full of goods, so we can't do anything more with those right now. But we've been paid a little bit of money, which is very welcome. Okay, where's that conveyor thing? There. Get a couple more of those in, I think, is going to be very helpful. Okay, so there can be four crates at any one point from these devices. Okay, this is good. This is good. Now I think we need to get ourselves some more drones, because we've got ourselves two drones working two trucks. So that's obviously going to slow things down. So we can have another couple of drones. So we can go one and two. So now that's max out our drones that we can build from this one drone bay. But so four drones, two packaging things. We've got two extractors up there. Is this thing looking full in any way? Has that got anything in it? No. So it just about works. 
This just about works right now. As it is, this is looking pretty good. <laughs> I like this. This is good. So right now the drone's just floating about, looking sad, waiting for a lorry to appear. The lorry just drives into them. It's fine. Yeah, the drones weren't expensive or anything, lorry driver. Good grief. Um, so I'd expect that one to go out and then another lorry to come in. Okay, now how are we looking for monies? Oh, that is wonderful. 34,790 monies we made. It's 35 grand almost. And we spent a little bit. So yeah, we made a profit of what, 28 or something? 28 grand. And now I'd expect that to go up even more because we've got more lorries, we've got more drones, we've got stuff going quicker. So this is all very encouraging. I like this. And there we can see our current goal. So the goal is move 25,000 kilograms of stuff over a period of three months. So, so far, we've moved 84 kilograms worth of stuff. I mean, we're, we're a little bit shy of 25,000 kilograms of stuff, but, you know, give us time, we'd get there. And there are a few other things as well up here that are quite interesting, including this here. So there is research. There's research upgrades, which you can buy that are very, very expensive, but there's also things that you can use these research points on down here that we've not looked at yet and they unlock extra things so this is how you take it a little bit further so you could just put a vast vast network of this a vast network of just plundering the natural resources and then just selling them on and that would probably work but these things here allow you to refine things so this refines your lightweight ores into heavier refined resources using the refiner so that is a refiner got a thing there some sort of claw train that is a waterworks so that upgrades the capability speed of various machines in your colony by connecting them to the water system. And if we look here, it does say water connected, no. And some other things have water connected, no, as well. I can't find, think what. But um, yeah, so you know, if they've got water connected, it works a bit quicker. And we do that. We earn these research points by building something in here, I believe. There you go. It's a research bay. So what you do is you can feed resources into the research bay and then the research bay then gives you research points. So it says there, research points become claimable after the bay has processed 20 crates. So what we could do is, we could save up for one of these. In fact, you know what? There's a bit of space in the middle, isn't there? There's a bit of space in the middle. Why don't we... Here's a plan. Here's a plan. Let's add another cart. So we'll add a third cart. So yay, that's five grand's worth of cart on there. Then, because we've got some money now, we'll get another mining rig. So yay for the mining rig. We'll get one of the extractor thingamajiggers that take it from a ground port, uh, transfers, transfers resources from the ground port to a minecart. Yes. So we want that to go there. And then we want to get the minecart from here to there. Yeah, actually, that'll work. For now, that will do the job just fine. So it comes down here. It picks up some stuff. Oh, that's not powered. That needs some power, no problem. Pop that in at the back, lovely. Okay, so now that's generating some stuff. It won't do it right now, but there we go. So that will come into there. That should pick up something from here now, I imagine. That's got to have something to pick up now. There we go. So it picks up some stuff, then from here. No, okay, let's extract it into there. That's all good. So how much is left in here? And I say, look, oh yeah, it is still emptying it. Okay, that's good, that's encouraging. So yes, yeah, so it's grabbing stuff out of there. So now I thought what we could do is, it's not getting as much as I wanted it to though. Can we make these go quicker? Go quicker, do more, mine quicker. Because my thought was we could, how much is gonna be in there now? Six out of 40. How much does it take into a cart? So a cart can hold four by the look of it. Yeah, okay, okay. Maybe that will start working, I don't know. What I thought was, um, we could then attach one of the extractor things just here, like we've got there, and then put one of the research bays in, and then we could start siphoning resources off into a research bay, and that would get us lots of research points that we can use to unlock some other things. But I don't know if we're going to have enough. I don't know if we'll have enough stuff. Oh, however, that did nearly fill up three... Yeah, there you go. Look, the third minecart's got something in now, and that's always going to have something in because we've only got two bits where it gets extracted. Okay, this is quite encouraging. How's it going over here, by the way, drones? Doing good jobs? Well done. Keep keep being drones, keep being droney. Well done. Yeah, the money's absolutely rolling in. This is very good. So yeah, look, there's a cart at the back, which has just sort of got some, some stuff in now, and it's just gonna have that stuff in forever and ever. So how about now, let's go to here. Let's take a thing from, um, from a step conveyor into a structure's ground port. 
So we'll do that, and then we'll get one of these things in. So get a research bay, that's you know, big and domey, um, and let's get some power. Because so I'm thinking this space in the middle, we're not going to be able to use for anything. So we'll just use it for you know, this. We'll use it for having stuff in there that we can we can fill the space with. So let's get a power thing, um, one there and one there. Okay, that thing is now powered. So that's processing some contents into research points. So let's just see how this works now. So it's going to come along. And they're going to pick up some stuff. So what's in there? Seven things at the moment. Oh, it's going to top itself up. Okay, and... Oh, it left the bat. Okay, fine. So let's see how this works. It just completely ignored that. Okay. <laughs> Did it not want to stop? Oh, okay. That's a bit of a shame. I thought it was going to... Um. Oh, there we go. I thought it was just going to sort of feed from the truck into there. Maybe that's not how it works. Um. Hang on. Research points which can be spent on the upgrades menu to improve various colony capabilities or unlock new structures. And oh, there you go. It has. It just it just sort of uh, hoovered some of the resources up. Okay, that's good. Receives any resources input. Returns research points equivalent to the dollar value of the given resource. Research points become claimable after Bay risk processes 20 crates. Okay, so there's plenty of stuff in there. So we need to get it up to that point there and we can claim some research points. Yeah, that's quite slow going. And again, there's no sort of speed up option. So we might be here a little while waiting for that to happen. Do you know what? That's fine. We'll wait and see what happens. Also, these things are very expensive. Like you can make the minecarts move quicker. It costs 150 grand. That's really expensive. <laughs> so costly. Um, what does that one do? Claw train we haven't got. Drone speed. At the moment, that's kind of fine. I'm not too bothered about that. Um, another two minecarts per track. My goodness. Claw trains per track. Uh, train intervals. Yeah, we haven't got train. Uh, truck interval might be quite good. That's only 50 grand. We could we could buy another truck. Although the trucks do wait quite a while. I think the best thing that we could invest in would be the highway, the, 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 the minecart speed. So those things going quicker. Because they're the things that slow stuff down. So I think maybe we save our monies and just see what else we can do. But yeah, at the moment, we've got a setup that is working. It might not be utterly perfectly brilliant, but it's doing its thing. Okay, much time has passed. We've actually acquired quite a lot of money as well. But more importantly, we've got these research points just here. So let's claim these right now. So 23,270. I guess you could just leave it to build up and up and up. In fact, what can we get? How much are these things? So that costs, ah, so the refiner costs 20,000. So we could get that. I'd be quite interested in getting water stuff. 600,000 research points? Are you joking? <laughs> Been there all day. Um, okay, the refiner seems like the way to go because everything else is quite expensive. Uh, the step conveyor is, is affordable. How much is the grabby train? Um, efficiently transports crates all around your colony using this inverted rail track system of grabber claws. Just like drones, claw trains can drop off or pick up crates from l load unload stations. That's gone a bit weird, but okay. Um, so yeah, do we go for that and then get unlock crate gate? Oh, that looks very complicated. Let's do this. Let's get that. So we'll claim our we'll claim our prize. Thank you very much. So now we have 26,310 research points and we can't claim any more until this thing has processed 20 units worth of goods again. But we've got enough to unlock this refiner. So yes, we will unlock the refiner. Thank you very much. So now what does that do? Whereabouts is that? Oh, oh, we have a doorway. Provides an entryway into a factory to be used by drones, minecarts, or claw trains. And a factory provides an indoor space in which refiners and combiners can be built. Must be connected to power in order to provide energy to house machines. Oh, oh we have to put a little factory, do we? Okie dokie. Um, so where is the actual thing? Where is the refiner? There. So it transforms resources from their unrefined form into their pure form. Must be built in a factory. Receives crates as input from a load station, step, conveyor, or crate maker. Okay, so we'll feed coal into that, possibly. What does coal become? Refined coal? I don't really know what that becomes. Um, there is a thing up here. Can we see? Coal. Oh, we just got, oh, because we've got coal ore, haven't we? So that would then turn it into coal, which is marvellous. So yeah, that sells for... That sells for quite a lot more, actually. That sells for a heck of a lot more. That's quite good. Okay, so yeah, so we'd think about that. Oh my goodness me, there's all sorts of things. Capacitors, ethanol, 
gold fuel. Don't use it. Don't use gold to make fuel. Use it to make shiny, pretty things. What are you doing? Steel plates, oil, gold, iron. Okay, so we've got many, many things. Now, I wonder what that is. I wonder what that is just there. Is that iron ore, possibly, that we could then turn into iron and then maybe turn the iron into... Can we turn iron into steel plates? I think it needs something else, doesn't it? But we can at least turn the iron ore into iron because that is a significant price increase. What I think we will do now, though, I think we'll wrap things up for now, but we will return to this because we have that new exciting thing that we've not quite looked at. So my plan is for next time, the coal process can just sit over there and it can just carry on doing what it's doing. It's generating research points. It's generating money. It's all fine. So that can just merrily tick over. What I'd like to do is get this stuff out the ground, potentially iron ore. I'm not entirely sure, but whatever it is, we'll get that out the ground. Then we'll put a factory just here and then we'll put the refiners in the factory and we'll see what we can refine this stuff into and then sell that on and see how that goes in terms of profit because so I think that's quite exciting and as well we could build another one of these research things maybe feed this sort of refined stuff into it as well to kind of mimic what we've got over here but with the refined stuff and see if that makes a difference because that might get us research points it'll get us more research points because the thing we're putting into it is more valuable so we'll get more research points out of it quicker which is very very good as well so um yeah i think we'll give that a go but we'll do all that next time although i am quite proud of this because normally when i build something like this it ends up being an absolute shambles this is actually okay apart from the little <laughs> the the difficulty with the train track over here which was all a bit silly um I, that's all right that's quite good we've got sufficient power this thing is going quite nicely the drones over here are able to sell stuff quite quickly although there's nothing coming out of the machines right now but yeah that's ticking over quite nicely over there so the drones are quite happy just getting on with it and uh, moving the stuff about making the monies research is happening plenty of power these three things here are all sort of plugged in quite nicely so um so yeah i'm quite happy with how it's going but we'll come back and we'll just have a little play with whatever this is because this is obviously step one this is your base level stuff we want to then look at refining i think that's the next logical step to look at so we'll come back we shall have a look at how we get on with refining whatever that shiny stuff there is hopefully you have enjoyed this if you have then please do leave a like that would be most splendid indeed and also if you're not already then please do subscribe to keep up to date with how we get on here in automation empire but for now thank you very much for joining me in the geek cupboard and i will see you next time this sports car is indeed illegal. You clearly couldn't see the sign saying no cars. I have found the place where I'm going to live forever. The Tea and Biscuits Cafe. I want to rename the dog. Uh, let's call it uh, Waffles. Waffles McBark. Behold the power of the blimp.